you won't believe what this guy did and what this guy said about David O's wife, Choma, relationship with David O's former artist, Peruzzi. This guy edited Peruzzi's tweet to make it seem like Peruzzi was indeed sleeping with David O's wife. In the tweet edited by this guy, it said, We used to be close, but because you hear say I did pipe your wife, you start to give me attitude. I don't leave your psycho, Sha, ungrateful guy. Like say, if I know write you song, you for blow. We used to be close, but because say you hear, because you hear say I did pipe your wife. We used to be close, but because you hear say I did pipe your wife. Referring to David Do. Well, Peruzzi vowed, vowed that after Peruzzi saw this tweet. Peruzzi vowed that he's going to trace this guy and get him arrested. Vowed that he's going to trace this guy and get him arrested. Peruzzi said, Your home go hang, guy. You sabi edit a be. You go edit for me, wella. No worry. <laughs> The only way you go graduate now if na editing and twerking you study for that school when you they go. Better tell your family say you don't stain father white because you no go escape this one. Oh go go kill your papa. God forgives. I do too, but not this time. Have that. You all retweeted it, so it can't have money for court. The guy quickly came online to apologize to Davido and Peruzzi. After you have done the deeds, <laughs> after you have done the deeds, the guy came out to apologize to Davido and Peruzzi. You edited someone to it and you decide to apologize to Davido and Peruzzi because you know they will forgive you. Check this out. Good evening. Um, my name is Obadaya David Adidulako and I posted I posted an edited um, tweet for on, on my page. I'd be like bad. I, I know to suck joy you bastard. Um, I apologize to Peruzzi, Davido and everybody that this my tweet has caused um pain to um so seeing that guy apologize do you think is genuine from your heart do you think that guy is genuinely sorry from your heart like you feel like the guy should be should be forgiven how many times have uh, some people come up with ridiculous uh, accusation towards this artist the other time we saw a y <laughs> so one came out to say AY was sleeping with Yole Doche's wife, me. Can you imagine? <laughs> then the guy later apologized, blaming it on the uh on blaming it on uh blaming it on the hardship of the economy that he wanted to just trend. And the guy apologized and everything just went by. We have seen the video accused severally. The other time, someone said a group of ladies that David Doe actually arrested said he got one of them pregnant. Can you imagine? David Doe have never saw the men this girl before. Well, let me know, guys. Do you think this guy should be sincerely forgiving? Like they should let go of the matter? No, nothing. Now, make David Doe forget the matter. You know, that small boy and all those things. Not only that, the guy also said. I apologize for posting 
and an edited tweet which involved Peruzin and Davido. I take full responsibility for all my action I've caused, and I promise it will never happen again. My apology to DMW management. You are in school. You should be focusing in your school now. Don't you want to graduate? Huh? This alone can get you in trouble. This alone, you can't be reported in your, uh, in your school and uh, it will give you an extension. This alone. So, don't you realize your parents are paying school fees, are really, really struggling paying your school fees? You know, these people that just live rent free, uh, life free, feeding free, everything free, you think Nigeria is easy. That's why you can just simply just stay one place and just go online and be typing rubbish. Stop accusing people. Stop. Well, guys, uh, like I've said before, do you think the guy should be forgiving? Like David Doe, no, live past the matter now, the guy in a small boy. I don't think Peruzi will forgive that guy. I don't think Peruzi will forgive him. Peruzi said, if you see waiting, the, if you see waiting that tweet rubbish, it be like it don't tire for life normally. Instead of you to be praying for God blessing, you the tweet. I ain't able stress, I the para. But I am not a wicked person. Make a light one. Well, the bill I say, uh, Perosi have been, uh, have, have forgiven him. And the David immediately tweeted this. He said, throw away the keys. Like lock him up and throw away the keys. So pay Rosie, uh, they will do the not back Rosie up. They should lock you up and throw away the keys. And meanwhile, in another news, former legendary rapper from Nigeria, Ike Chuku said, the band used him. Like the band really, really used him during those days. So the OGs are coming out to speak about how they were ripped by those former OGs, you know. When Portable was coming out to talk about ripping, people were shouting, screaming, keep quiet, keep quiet, keep quiet, keep quiet. But now the OGs are coming out to expose themselves how the industry is filled with wicked, wicked people. So let's listen to Ike Chuku. Banga is gonna hate this when I say this, but you know, the truth is the truth. The truth is the truth. When we used to go on the road, they go pay Banga money. Banga go do like say they do me favor when they give me, make a call them. How so much? Back then, me that used to book like 1.5, 1, 1.5, 2, 50k. He increased it one time after we don't fight. As I say, increase him. Say, talk to mommy, talk to mommy. Everything's okay. We're going to increase him to 150. To mommy. Mommy, who's mommy? His mom. His mom was part of the record label? Spiritually, yeah. Spiritually, how? Uh, for a long time. Ask Jazzy now. For a long time. They know they make decisions without mom still giving the okay. For a very long time. To be honest, I, I'm finding this amazing. What we heard one day was you guys you and uh, the band got into a fisticuff and uh, another so one another one fun fact another one that never happened you don't forget say i be you don't forget say i be the band bodyguard doing whole career you don't forget that's you know if you touch with the band because of me i'll finish up you man uh -uh. that's how brotherly love used to roll that's how brotherly love used to the guy said the barge go collecting money, pocket like uh, pocket millions and give him one fifty thousand naira for performing. <laughs> fifty thousand naira, oh she for performing. Come on, man. Well, we already know the the industry is filled with a lot of uh, greedy people. That is well known. Feel with a lot of greedy people. That is why artists nowadays they are quick to talk, they are quick to speak out, they are quick to 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 speak. 
because they don't want to get raped. They don't want to get raped because these guys they do not have conscience. They will just rip you off. No conscience attached. So guys, uh, uh, the OGs are speaking up and I think they should take it easy. Well, if you feel you are being raped, say it out now. And you know, one thing is that people who actually rip you will not say anything though. Especially like the band will never, never speak on this. Well, I wish them all the best. You know, their, their, their time is gone. We have a new cat now who are running, who are making so much money. Mm -hmm. Their time is gone. Mm -hmm.